You know you had that, that initial burst of success when you were 16. Yeah. And then, for me anyway, you just seemed to disappear. Now, what, what exactly happened then? Oh, a lot of things. I got... I couldn't cope. Uh, and then I got real bored. When I was about 17, I stopped. And I just went to uh, Philadelphia for a while and then to L.A. And I lived there for four years and didn't do anything but write. It was really good. I think it was, it was something that... Um, Prodigies, child performers, whatever, uh, should have to go through, you know, because it, it gets you back some kind of perspective on yourself. Hopefully. Did you get it back? I think so. I'll find out when I take my two years now. <laughs> yeah. Another thing, women in rock music, generally, they never seem to, to make it to the, the same extent that, say, a man would That's make true. it. That's true. Very true. Do you think about that? Sure. Sure. It's a problem. I, I don't know how much of it is a a cultural backlash of some sort. I don't know how much of it is that women haven't really been writing and performing in the same sense that men have been for as long. There's just a dearth of women doing the same things. Um, and how much of it is just the other performers relating to you as a woman as opposed to as a player. How much of it is that there really is a difference? You know, I really, I've thought about it a lot because it is a problem, especially in the States. You know. um, I guess Joni Mitchell's come the closest in the States to the, the status as a writer of someone like a Dylan, but she's still a chick, you know, or a chick who plays guitar. Um, I don't know how much you can do about that. You know, I play piano and electric guitar in the set, and it doesn't seem to upset people too much, but then again, maybe I don't do it very well. well I was talking to a woman the other day, and we were talking about women in, in rock, and the name Tina Turner came up, you know, oh, and, and she great. said, yeah, well, and yet this woman said, garbage, sells a body. I mean, that's not true, you know, someone like Tina Turner, um, Hugh Hefner's old lady sells her body. She can't sing. Tina Turner's a great singer, a great performer. Stand up for my friends. Yeah. You know, that's not fair to say, especially when you've got, how can you say that about selling your body after Elvis? Even in these couple of minutes talking to you, I don't sort of get the feeling that you're a performing type person. Well, I don't know. I'm not really. I, I mean, I do it because it's, it's what I do, but I'd rather be home writing. Do you have to perform? Do you have to go out live? No, I wanted to see Japan and Australia. That's why I'm doing this. Um, when I get home next week, I'm going off the road for a couple of years. How important is it, you know, for an artist to be constantly traveling around it depends on the artist. It does a lot of good things for you. You know, it, I mean, outside of the stuff that your parents always tell you about seeing the world and things like that, um, it exposes you to a lot more types of people than you would see otherwise. And you become much more cosmopolitan, which is, for a writer, a good thing. The more you know about different types of people, the closer you get to people being people, you know, and not ethnic groups and things. Are you ever conscious of the fact by, by doing this that you're going to ultimately boost sales for records? Well, it depends on if the concerts are any good. I guess so. I mean, I don't really think about it in those terms because a concert is... Um, I make records and I do concerts and I write, and they're three very separate things, you know. There's no way to duplicate a record in a concert, for instance. There's no way to write while you're doing concerts. As far as a lot of people here are concerned, you know, they think of you, they think of the number 17, mm. more so than society's child. Was 17 so. so bad? Being 17, was it so bad? No, 17 just scanned. That's really an age group, you know, 13 to whenever one hopefully uh, grows out of it or learns to cope with it, you know. 17 wasn't any worse than any other year or any better, you know, for me. Were any years for you happier than any of the 16 oh, to 20? Oh, yeah. The last three years have been great, she said seriously. They had, the last three years have been real nice because I've been doing what I want to do, how I want to do it, with people that I, I really enjoy doing it with. Mm. Again, you know, that, that's much more success. I mean, you can't ask any more than that.